All right, let's uh, let's let's should we review Big Buck Hunter? You ready to move on? Is it time for? I've been waiting all night for this. All I'll right. try to save some energy. Let's all do right. it. Um, let's let's Big Buck Hunter. Oh man, let's let's just pause it. Big Big Buck Hunter. Yeah, we haven't worked out all the tweaks of the scrolling pictures yet, but we there have scrolling go. pictures. Thanks, Shannon, Shannon Stafford. Stafford. So we have a great stream, and uh, I agree. Thank you. <laughs> um, so. Once an episode, we want to review a different pinball machine. And I wanted to pick Big Buck Hunter Pro because, number one, it's it's not a well-ranked game on pin side. It's nope. like 200-something. Last I checked, it was like 254. That was a couple months ago. So you take a pinball machine, just is horribly trashed. I've heard people call it Big Suck Hunter, <laughs> you know, because they like to have cute names. Uh, but let's let's review a game like that, right, that a lot of people haven't played or a lot of people don't like. And dissect it. I have it in my collection. It's almost in a couple of weeks. I'll have it for a year. Mm-hmm. All right. I don't know anybody else who has a big buck hunter. So if that game leaves, that means that I won't get to play one. Which I'm kind of stuck with the game in a way. That's the downside, <laughs> right? You know. Yeah. Um. But let's go, let's go through, and I can talk about why I like this game and why I do have it in my yeah. collection. So Nick's the owner of this game, so he's going to take the lead, and I'll just throw in my uh, my two cents when I. So we'll we'll start we'll start we'll go through the art, sound, toys, DMD lighting, gameplay rules, and then of course last ability. So the art on the game, uh, I actually like the art on the game. Uh, if let's go, can you scroll to the play yeah, field, Kev? Like I can. Play field shot. Uh, next, maybe, maybe I can. Uh, next one yeah next right, one okay so here's a few full view of the play field it's a colorful game mm-hmm. it's got like it, it looks inviting it looks fun it looks i feel like i'm in the woods when i look at this play field <laughs> it looks different from yeah. other games yeah uh i'm not i not a hunter never will be a hunter like i'm, I'm like the farthest thing from owning a big buck hunter pinball machine and yeah i'm like oh this is this is fun i yeah. like it so I would say the art in the playfield is pretty good. Right. It's not Ghostbusters good. It's not Metallica good. No. But it's good, man. I, it's it's a heck of a lot better than Game of Thrones. Sorry, to everybody <laughs> out there, but it's true. Uh, yeah, uh, I like it. It's got the woods in the bottom, and then it kind of fades up to like it's got the a hunting. Lo- so this is like the inside of a hunting lodge in the center, <laughs> and that's like the thing. Yeah, there right it is. There. That's the inside of a hunting lodge. So those, those are the inserts that show your progress towards like Wizard Mode. And we'll get that to the rules where I'm gonna really destroy the rules but. <laughs> um, and then in the back it kind of fades out it's like the night it kind of looks like the night sky or something and there's uh the pop bumpers are spaceships right ufos and they they try to steal your cows i guess that's like a, a something from the uh, video game yeah it's it's a, from a video game but it also uh tie it's funny because it's, it's from the video game but it ties into kind of like an homage from revenge from mars yeah where there there's uh you know the ufos beaming up the cows so mm-hmm. it's cool how they tied that in there yep um, we'll we'll get to that. Let's go. Can you go back up to the cabinet a little bit? Uh-huh. The cabinet, the artwork is based on basically the Big Buck Hunter Pro, the arcade game. Yep. So it's just straight off that. Nothing special. Not bad. You know, it's just kind of like okay, it does the job. Let's move on. Yep. It, 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 there were. It's a game about killing deer. Here's a deer. Yeah. And here's the name. I don't know. <laughs> honestly, God, I don't know what else you can do. I'm like, I can't really say. Oh, it can be improved. They did this. So it's like okay. It gets the job done. We should I, ask I uh, Zombie playing. Yeti what he would do with uh, with the Big Buck Hunter Pro license. <laughs> he might be able. He might be able to do something special. He'd do something amazing. Um, well, one thing about the back glasses, is if you look close, it looks like the deer has a mustache. I'm just saying. He's not like Fu Manchu mustache. <laughs> Fu Manchu mustache. Really weird. He's legit. All right, so let's go to sound. Which um, I'm gonna read the chat here. Wildcat says, "I think the countryish music instantly turns people off, like people who hate Roadshow for no other reason." Um. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm huge on sound in yeah. the game. The game has the sounds just so kind of lazy. <laughs> I think it's most of. The, I wonder if all the sounds from the arcade game. I'm not that familiar with the arcade game. I know some of it is. Yeah. But it's just this like twangy loop that gets caught in your head. And honest to God, it does get caught in my head. Like <laughs> yeah, it's kind of groovy. You play it, and yeah. it, we all kind of we all kind of <laughs> like it in my group. Yeah. Like we all kind of yeah. like it in yep. a kind of joking way. Um, so it doesn't it doesn't ruin anything uh, for me sound wise. The callouts, um, maybe it's, that's something love and hate. It's you got, got this, You got Pappy. He just talks in this like, I I, I guess there's like this <laughs> like this countryish guy he's mimicking. I okay. don't know who it is, but this is my lack of knowledge. 
some like yeah it's it's almost hopping. like a parody of yeah of, of what it is, it's supposed to be yeah he says these corny lines and stuff and it's like i don't know if it's 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 funny maybe because it's so bad yeah. kind of deal mm-hmm. but it's there man you find yourself like like mimicking what it says and stuff i think and, stern does good sound yeah and this game is no exception it's got some funny call outs like methane madness <laughs> you know like again a little shout out to like um um Williams and like medieval madness, mm-hmm. like little things like that. Where here's a stern game that actually has some humor in it. And right. how many stern games in the last ten years really have humor? Yeah. I don't, you got Family Guy and Simpsons, which of course it's humor, but this is this is the closest thing we have to like an original theme, right? right. It's based on an arcade game, mm-hmm. but it's this hunting game, and they have kind of a creative license with it, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it, you know, it's got like when you hit the duck shot, it makes the duck call and stuff like that, and. Uh, you know, it's it is what it is. I, I think it's good. Um, the uh, you know I don't have enough time on it to really know like the the ins and outs of like the the intricate like little uh, quirks in there like like the methane madness. I don't think I'd ever heard that before. He but. says at one point that cow is pooping points. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave that there. You guys can form your opinion on that. But it's just like did he say that? Yeah, yeah, he did. I think you just sold a couple big buck hunters. Yeah, <laughs> with that line, the cow is pooping points. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Not I've heard it right. Trust me. All right, that's that, that's the sound for you. <laughs> All right, so toys. Can we do? We have a, a good picture of the toy. I don't know. Did there you give is, me a good picture of the toy? There are there. You know, there are a number of toys in this game, um, actually, which is cool. And it has one of my favorite toys. I think. Well, yeah, you can see that. There's no more. I didn't give it. you any more pictures. No, I'm it. sorry, internet. <laughs> so you're gonna have to. Well, you can see it on the, in the middle of the playfield there. Yeah. So the middle of the playfield, the main toy in this game is that it's this buck. And he's on like this little trolley cart, like a track that goes straight across the play field. And he's like, at first he's like hiding out behind this little bush. Yeah. And if you whack him, he comes out. Oh, can you draw on it? Uh, I don't have out? the whiteboard on it. All right, that's okay. Yeah. Don't do it. We're, right. we're going to break the internet. <laughs> but you guys, you should be able to see it from there. Yeah, he's on this track and he's hiding behind a blind. And on like the first ball before you get to multi-ball, if you wait like 10 seconds, like just cradle it, he'll come out. Like he'll stop by one of the bullet markers. Mm-hmm. And then you hit him. And it's like, it makes a gunshot noise, and he like retreats back. It's like, oh man, he shot me. And it's so satisfying. <laughs> it's, I mean, the, it's great. I love it. I've had this game for a year. I'm like, I don't hate Bash Toys. I'm like, okay, Bash Toys are fine. Mm. It's a fun Bash Toy, oh, man, man, because the, it's a moving target, so it really adds more shots to the game. And it's dangerous, and you got to be prepared for how it comes back. It, so many people love hitting that thing, yeah. and, and and as an experienced, serious player, I like it. It's fun. It sounds goofy, but it really kind of feels like you're you're hitting a deer because it's like he runs out. It's like, oh, I got to get him real quick, and then he, you shoot him, and then he takes off again. So it's really well implemented. Yeah. So Toronto Pinhead asked a good question. Never played Big Buck Hunter, but does the slot that the buck runs down obstruct or influence the direction of the ball? Usually, no. The ball's like really slow. Like if it, it if it gets hung up in a weird way, it does. But surprisingly. It does not affect it at all. Yeah. You would think it would, right? Because there's this big dig in the play field. Does not affect it. Yeah, and I've never been playing it and been like, oh man, that really like made the ball do some weird things. It's it's surprising. So it's got some other toys on um, to to the right hand side, middle of the play field. It has an elk. Yep. And this elk he's comes out during multi ball, and he's like on a flipper mech. So imagine like they mounted this like elk on a, like what's like a flipper mech, and during multi ball he like swings out. All right. He's like, here, hit me. And you hit him with the ball, of course, right? <laughs> and you really got to hit him hard. And it knocks that flipper mech back and it swings back at you. So sometimes it's hitting the ball right back at you. Again, pretty cool. It's got some movement on the game. It's got these little like figurine mm-hmm. animal dolls on there. <laughs> um, the other one is that there's like this kickback sort of thing, like a war machine mm. kickback on Iron Man or maybe the dragon. Although it doesn't come back too fast, and the reason why is that on that kickback is mounted a ram, mm-hmm. like another a, a little plastic figure ram. Like you, when you were like five years old and you had a bucket of uh, of toys, and this was at the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah, um, it will it will actually hit the hit the ball back at you. Okay, so pretty cool toys, man. I I, I like it. I like it a lot. Up so, the middle is the bird shot. That's just like a it, you hit a target and a, a post pops up, right? So K Bun says bash toys break too easily. I, I've had, I, I'd say no. I mean, I've had some problems with the elk, but I think they've been fixed. I think it's just a screw. The elk's fallen off. That's the one thing. But it's not hitting the bash toy itself. It's hitting the mech. Um, my Ironmonger's a bash toy. 
knock on wood, I'm going to jinx everything right now. <laughs> this is a plastic table. It's but, not wood. <laughs> but that's been fine. So I don't think you get to worry too much about bash toys. Don't make that a concern. Kai Boone will get to the rules in the monster buck mode. Yeah, in a bit. that's where we're going to have some problems. So are you good on toys, Kev? Uh, what do you think I think so. It? I mean, yeah, we. I kind of agreed with you i love the buck that runs out in the middle i think it's just the best it's yeah. when i when i step up to play that's what i want to do i was like i want to smack that deer and get multi-ball going um and the elk is cool i like how he flips out and then you can like some balls can go behind him too um the you know some of the shots are tough but we'll get into some of that later all right so uh, moving on to dmd and lighting so the dmd there's, I mean, they could have really done some cool things here with mm-hmm. the theme and gotten creative. It's nothing special. Most of the time, there's like this animation of a deer running around, and whatever you, animal you hit, it falls over. I don't know. I mean, I, go and check out our video on YouTube when we played Big Buck Hunter, and you'll see for yourselves. But nothing special here. Like, this is not a game I'm going to buy color DMD for. I just <laughs> Come on. don't. I don't. I don't see it <laughs> unless it's just amazing and there's like quote unquote detail there that I missed before. But. They probably could have done a lot of cooler things, but again, this is the time when Stern. This came out in, in 2010, early 2010, maybe mm-hmm. January. Yeah, a time when uh, they're sort of at their cost cutting. The recession's in full effect, so I don't know how much time was spent or resources was spent on this game. Yeah, they're like, well, let's, let's put some things on the screen and call it a day. Yeah. So are you cool with the and the lighting? I mean, I had to put one of those. Um, what are the O o- OCD LED with, OCD yeah I, well I like one of the things chips I had to put a chip in there because I put oh, okay. in I put in LEDs yeah. and I love the LEDs mm-hmm. in this game it it's the gizmo really, wasn't it really good yeah so I, I put LEDs in my game from Comet of course and I use actually the retro ones which look really good with kind of like this nature mm-hmm. um, look on the game looks so good I, I love how this game it just looks great in my collection um, they kind of they all kind of pulse and flash, so I had to put the, the gizmo from um, LCD. Uh, LED OCD. LED OCD. <laughs> so if you guys have this game and you put in LEDs, you're going to need that mod. It was like 40 bucks. It makes it so when, like, during when multi balls already, like, all a GI flash, mm-hmm. really annoying, like in Sopranos, and it's just overwhelming. You put that in there. But other than that, the lighting is it's it's for that time, right? It's the, the 2010 lighting. Yep. Nothing special, but not bad. Yeah, Nothing I put one of those about. gizmos in my uh, in my Tron too, just for the uh, the um, Zeus hurry up mode when you would hit the spinner and the GI would flash. Yeah, it would yeah. be like I can't even it's handle this much. right now. So same same era ish. Um, so, but that's a great little device. It was like thirty bucks or something like yeah. that. Not too bad. Okay, so gameplay. If you're looking at this, uh, this is an open play field, which I'm a fan of open play fields. Um, it's a John Borg game, so you see some of the traditional Borg shots. You have that ramp. The one ramp in the game is pretty much like the Tron ramp. Yeah, very similar the to same Tron. Same spot. Yeah. Um, it feels like hitting that shot. Mm-hmm. Uh, walking. I think the same position pretty much is Walking Dead. Yep. So a very familiar shot. You have this center shot that starts bird multi ball, where a post comes up and locks it. That's kind of an interesting shot because it's tight. Like most of the shots in this game, it's hard to find in the flipper, and it keeps it challenging. Uh, I like the buck. Because when the buck comes out and you hit him, it's a dangerous shot. you got to be well prepared for the ball coming back at you, and it makes the game very challenging, and it adds more shots to the game. Uh, there's actually a spinner in the game as well. It's to the right of the first pop bumper. It's in a unique spot. I don't That's know a tough shot. any game that has a spinner there. I wish it was utilized more in this game because it's a cool shot. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but um, I dig that. Now, the far right shot, orbit shot in the game is super, super tight, almost to an annoying... Um, level. I think it's. I think it's. It's too tight, and it kind of ruins it. Isn't that one of the oh. shots you got to hit to get to the wizard mode too? Yeah, I mean you got to you got to hit it in in multi ball. You're not hitting it a lot, but you got to hit it. Yeah. Um. Actually, you do have to hit it quite a bit in this game to get to it, and it's it's a tight, difficult shot. But I like a challenging game, and I think yeah. that's why I like it because it's it's a game that the ball's constantly coming back at you. You hit a shot, and it's coming back. There's only one ramp, so you're not just getting into this kind of flow where when you own a game. It almost gets boring because you know where all the shots are. Yeah, you you know you know where things are gonna bounce. It's you know that's what we like about board games. They just they, you got to get into battle mode. You got to be ready to re- react, and it's not just a uh, ramp to flipper, ramp to fl- flipper over and over again. So if you like Borg like I do, then I think you're gonna like the design that he had on this game. It's mm-hmm. not a masterpiece, but it's fun. Yeah, I think it's it's very fun to play. I, I remember when I I played this game at Papa. What was it? probably two years ago now um 
And it was, it was, I mean, you're in Papa headquarters and there's 400 games. And I played it and I was like, eh, forget that game. It's, it's garbage. It's set up, I hate the game at Papa because it's set up so hard. I did not, I hated it because I played it at Papa. I don't know what it is about that machine, but yeah. it's just so brutal. It's so difficult that it wasn't fun. And this was early on in my pinball <laughs> career, quote unquote. Yeah. So I played it there and I was like, eh, forget it. And then Nick was like, I'm getting one. I was like, what really and then i went and i played it and i was like this game is really fun so it, it's so much so much depends on the condition of the game that you're playing and how it's set up and you know where the posts are and how the how strong the flippers are uh but this game i really have a fun time with this game yeah so let's get to the the my biggest critique of this game and that's the rules i mean at this point in time we have Pinball designers who are experienced, the, the geometry right mm-hmm. of the games are, are pretty solid. They know how to make good shooting games. It, a lot of times, it's coming down to are the rules good? And you look at games that came out this period of time. So you're not going to get a game that has deep rules. This is the time when Iron Man came out, Tron came out, Rolling Stones, Transformers. Okay, they're not putting deep rules. They're not having these innovative rules like ACDC with kind of risk reward of building up a jackpot and cashing out and stuff like that that's you know the modern day that we live in today Mm -hmm. that's fine you know iron man's a great game it doesn't have deep rules so it doesn't need to have it but there's some fundamental flaws in this game that make it absolutely impossible to get to the wizard mode and nothing quote unquote nothing's impossible but i think when you kind of hear me break it down you'll understand what's going on kev can you go to the um the inserts one of the things one of the things you got to do is is you got to complete all these inserts right like on most so you'll see there's a buck that's starting the buck multi ball that's easy the elk is easy to start the bonus rounds and the default setting you start a bonus round by hitting the pop bumpers a number of times and then hitting the far right shot which I said is really tight I move that down to just one time starting it because it's so hard to even get it up in the pops and hit it so many times that you're starting these bonus rounds that aren't even worth that much um, the moose is hitting the ramp a number of times boring um <laughs> it's literally just hit hit the ramp hit the one ramp in the game enough times so every time you hit it you spell you put a letter in moose and you spell it and then guess what you do in that mode kev you spell moose you hit moose again you keep on hitting that <laughs> ramp again so it's just like hitting the ramp again i don't even play that mode because it's so incredibly boring and not even worth that much it's just stupid it's just lazy 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 rules you know, I, I, I don't know why they go through this trouble of designing a pinball machine, the production, securing the license, the art, the sound, the testing, and then they just put in these lazy rules. It's just annoying. <laughs> and it kills me because I really like this game. Uh, the RAM is just starting the RAM, and that's like hitting it maybe three times, which starts to double scoring, which is cool. I like the fact that they've got double scoring in the game. So yep. you want to do that when you got a multiball. That's cool. Now, the bird. Oh man. The bird is that tight shot and there's four bird multi balls. They're pretty much they're all the same. Yep. There's like turkey, pheasant, blah blah blah. Um the first time you do you I think you have to hit that center shot like five times. All right. That's a lot. Fine. <laughs> and then you gotta hit it for the next multi ball like six and then seven, something like that. So just to collect that insert on the game to get to the wizard mode, you have to hit that center shot like twenty some times. That is not exciting. That is not fun. A post comes up and holds it for a second. It's just like, it is chopping wood. And it's which, such a hard shot to hit to it's begin with. such a hard shot to hit. I mean, I have never lit that. Now, I don't <laughs> focus on it because I'm playing other things in the game, but I have maybe got up to like maybe the third one or something like that. It's just too freaking much. The fundamental problem with this game is that there's only one wizard mode. Like, if you want to have these really hard-to-do objectives... Have two wizard modes, mm-hmm. right? That's what makes a good game. Right. Tron. Imagine if Tron only had uh, Portal. Portal. <laughs> this is what that big or, buck hunter or no is. No crank it ups in Metallica. Yeah, this is what that is. Yeah, that's what's going on in this mm-hmm. game. The one of the most frustrating things is that you look at this um, graphic of the inserts for the uh, wizard mode, and you see that monster buck. You're like, oh well, that's a big insert. That must be the wizard mode, right? No, it's not. That's just an insert you have to light. So the buck multi-ball insert is starting buck multi-ball, right? All the way to the And bottom. then the jackpot yeah. is getting like um, all the regular jackpots, which is hitting the buck five more times. Okay. So you hit him five times to During start During multi-ball. It. Yeah. Let me, let me just break this down <laughs> for everybody because this is important. You, uh, <laughs> you can tell I'm really passionate. I've come alive right now. You hit the buck five times to start multi-ball. Are you guys with me? Okay. Fair enough. That's we cool. I like it. That's yep. actually fun. <laughs> then you got to hit him five times again. He's going to go through all the positions and the bullets. Okay. okay. I'm counting. That's ten. That lights jackpot. Mm-hmm. Then the double jackpot is like all the shots behind the buck, like the ramp, the orbit, 
the the ram, the bird. Um, you hit all those shots, and those are double jackpots. That's fine. I'm cool with that. So, I mean, we already hit a lot of shots. We've already hit 15 shots, yep. right? Yep. Then the super jackpot. This is kind of cool because the buck moves out of the way, and suddenly you got to hit the spinner. Oh, my God. You put this cool spinner in the game, and I can finally hit it. <laughs> it's finally worth hitting. Finally. <laughs> and it's hard That's to get after there. After you've made 15 shots during multiball, yes. you can finally hit it. Yes. So you hit it. Okay. Guess what? Did anything good happen? Are we done? Nope. Here's the saving grace. So it will give you a ball save back, which Ooh, is nice. Thank you. And now, this is not a misprint. This is not me speaking incorrectly. This is factory settings. Now, after you've done all that, you have to hit the buck 20 times. 20. I'm going to swear. Get your children ready. 20 fucking times. Do you understand how stupid that is? And you can't adjust that in the settings either, can you? No. You cannot adjust that. That doesn't, and if you do that, you're like, well, Nick, and you know, that's impressive. I mean, I, I like the fact that there's multi ball objectives in this game, but you know what happens you when just, you do it? <laughs> you think, do you get to a wizard mode or mini wizard mode for doing this amazing accomplishment? Absolutely not. You lit monster buck. Big deal. <laughs> Big deal. Because then after you do that, you're like, guess what? You get to hit bird 20 sometimes. <laughs> and then alone the bonus and the boring moose. I mean, these rules are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, lo- I think this game is so fun to shoot and play, and I uh, get into the theme and everything. But then you have these rules, and they're chopping wood, man. Like I'm always down for a game of big buck hunter. It's fun, and, and, and I love having it in my collection. All right, we have to clarify this in the chat room. Not 20 in total. 20 additional times you need to hit it. So yes. you're hitting like 40 shots to get to monster buck. All right. So th- what was your count at? It was it was uh, five to start. It, five five jackpots were ten. 15. And then double jackpots are 15. So you're not hitting the buck, but that's so 15. That's 16. 16. Plus 36, 20. 36, 36 shots. Yep. 36 shots. 36. And the buck is dangerous because you oh, hit yeah. it, it's coming right back and at you. Like in the right outline. in front of your flippers, yeah. Oh, my God. What were they thinking? <laughs> I feel like they, the angry video game nerd. <laughs> like, I'm starting to turn into him, dude. Like, what, what is angry going on? Nerd. I feel like maybe they weren't like these were placeholder rules, and they're like, ah, it's buck hunter to ship it. They're we're like, off to the next game. We sold a hundred of these. Don't bother with it. Just leave it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Borg. Kayvon says, I guess Borg wasn't very inspired. I think Borg's just designing the game. I don't know how much influence he has on the rules, but if you look at who did it, I think it's a Lonnie Rop game. I gotta shrug my shoulders and say this is his style of just hit a shot a million times and then ship the game, and that's it. <laughs> It's got rules all the lights light up next game. Here's what would have been awesome in that game is if it had a secondary wizard mode. If you want to make us do all that, there's mm-hmm. nothing inherently wrong with that, but you need to have that other wizard mode. Let's look at Iron Man, for example. All right, Iron Man has two wizard modes, you can argue. It's got the uh, the getting to do or die, which is lighting up all the inserts on one ball and challenging. But it's got the other one where you light up all the, uh, you do all the like modes or inserts in the game, but you can do it over three balls and you get to Jericho. That's kind of cool. That's a consolation. It's mm-hmm. like you don't make this task impossible. You make something achievable. I then think you still feel like you accomplished something even though you didn't quite get all the way. Yeah. It's like getting to see a simulation in Tron. It's like, eh, I got, I got there almost. Yes. You know what? I, I can do it again next time. What's cool about see a simulation is that you didn't have to do perfect in the modes. Right. Right? Because in, in CS Simulation, if you if you did the um, multi-ball objectives on the um, light cycle, then you don't have to play that in CS Simulation. Right. But if you didn't do it, then you have to play in CS Simulation. If Buck Hunter did something like that where it gave you a chance to, like, you didn't do all the birds, you can just do hit a couple bird shots, fine. Yep. But, yeah, I think the best example is Imagine Tron without CS Simulation and only Portal, and you can never get to Portal. <laughs> right, exactly. So Wildcat wants to know, so Monster Buck, then what's open season? Open season is the uh, wizard mode, so getting all the inserts, getting Monster Buck lit, getting Buck, Elk, bonus round, Bird, Ram, Moose. Good luck. Um, this game, the game I actually have was originally Josh Sharps in his collection. Uh, Josh sold it to another collector in Chicago who had it for a month, and I picked it up because, I, I don't know, I'm sick. Uh, but I asked Josh if he had ever got to the wizard mode in this game, and he said, no, it's impossible. Josh Sharp, who's ranked in the top, I know, he's in 20 now. I think he's in the top 20, yeah. Top 20 in the world. No, it's impossible. You have a broken game. <laughs> yes. There's something wrong with this game and the rules when that guy is saying that. Yep. So that's my that's my big buck hunter uh, rules. Wow, that was a lot of rules. Well, Do you have I, anything left to I say? I have zero to add to that. <laughs> well done, Nick. Well done. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so last ability. Um, for me, this game has lasted in my collection for almost a year now. Uh, one of the reasons is because I still have fun playing it. I still enjoy playing a, a, a few games here and there. I had to do this on a stream 
uh, just to kind of gameplay one a couple weeks ago, and playing this game for an hour and a half is is, is a bit much. <laughs> I was it was really wearing thin on me. I could tell you were ready to be done with it by the time the stream was over. But I've not played this game in almost a month now, and I really miss it. I really would just love right now, as I'm talking about, to go and, and play a couple of games on. It's just fun. It's just mm-hmm. satisfying hitting the buck. There's there's some simple rules to it, but it's it's as Gary Stern would say, capital F, capital U, capital N. He made a fun game. <laughs> um, how long will it last? I don't know. I mean, at some point my collection space is going to get filled up Mm -hmm. and there's going to be better games out there and it will probably be time to move this game what keeps me from selling it is the fact that no one else has it it's it's, at this point i would consider it a rare game yeah i can't play it on location i can't play it in another collector's house especially in this Um, condition my my friends love playing it when they come over i still love it so uh, it's pretty good, man. It, less ability is pretty good, all those things considered. You have to have those caveats that yeah. they're not everywhere. How long have you had it now? It's at least a year, right? It will be. I got it at the end of March last year. Okay. So we're getting there. It's yeah. almost time for um, a Big Buck Hunter cake. <laughs> um, you know, I can't speak to last ability not being the owner of it, uh, but I can say that every time I go to Nick's house, I always play this game. Yeah. It, it for two reasons one it's fun and two you can't play it anywhere else you know yeah so every time i go to my collection in my basement i think i put a gamer i play a game or two on it and you're i feel that damn very satisfied. <laughs> it's good it's a cool it's a cool layout yeah it's, it's fun. fun fun and different and all right not you're not going to see it a lot of places so with all of that said I, i'm like what do you give it as a rating i gave we gave tron a nine mm-hmm. and we're doing like point yeah i think we minutes. i think we gave uh, iron man like an 8.5 when we uh, i think i gave it a nine and a half because yeah. i just kind of emotion you know <laughs> yeah i don't know if that, that game's not a nine and a half but yeah. i gave it that so i'm gonna give big buck hunter a seven and a half i think it's i think that may not sound too good i think mm-hmm. it's a great game i encourage you guys to spend some time and play it if you get a good price on it you know consider getting it yeah I only just give it a seven and a half because it just I look at it and it can be so much more than it is because and just rules. If this game had better rules, it would be so much higher than that. Um, but it's still, despite those flaws, a very good game, very fun game, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. Um, you know, I'll dig it a little more. I'm going to give it a seven. Uh, like, you know, Nick's a much better pinball player than I am, and because he can't ever get to the wizard mode in this, I would never be able to get to the wizard mode in this. And to me, that's that's a huge uh disadvantage for this game so uh i'm gonna give it a seven it's su- still super fun to play if you see it on location hopefully it's working give it a give it a play yeah um it, it, it's worth your time and you're not probably not gonna see it again i know some routed ones have come up um by some operators and i've heard prices talked to around like two thousand dollars or twenty two hundred dollars for i i paid 34 for mine but that's a home use only and i think that's reasonable so you might be able to find a nice router one, have it in your collection for a while, and just enjoy it. Yeah, it's one of those sterns, you can, a modern stern you can get for for not a lot of not a lot of cost, which is always a nice thing. Oh, see, Toronto Pinhead asked that. I didn't even see that. I'm reading. It. He said, "What would <laughs> be a good deal on man. a BBH?" So like I said, I paid thirty four hundred for mine. I think you're going to see home use only ones in the three, two to three range, depending yeah. on condition. And most of them, when I was looking last year, it was hard to find one lower than three. But you know, people get good deals, right? I don't necessarily. I'm not a, like. Feeding for I'm not a person who just looks for a deal and then gets a game. If I want a game, it's gonna happen to a fault. Yes, to a fault. 